Hello friends, how are you? Hope you are fine. So in this video, I'll show you how you can create a complete stock management system in C. It's fundamental programming projects for beginners. Okay. So first of all, I run this program and show you how it works. These are the attributes. Okay, you may change according to your requirement. Okay, this one is the structure of our stock. You may add or remove any attribute from here. Okay. So first of all, I run this one. At the end, I will show you how the code works. Okay. I have to type one to add an item in our stock. So here I have to type the name of our item. I type and random make name like uh, and quantity is like 12 buying price is 9 sell price is 12 expiry date is 10 and 20225 okay so this item added in our stock successfully now I have to add two more items like uh, This is like uh, 54 and 20, 10, 20, 35. Okay. And one more item like uh, I type a random name. Okay. Quantity, price. Sell price is 44 and expiration date like 10 0 09 okay so these are the item in our stock now I wanna display all the items you can see how beautiful format these items these items are display okay and if I wanna search any particular item, I have to type three here. I have to type the name like I type L O A. So item found in our stock. Okay. I have to again search and type any random name. You can see item not found in our stock. So when I press four, the program exited. Okay. So this is the working of our code okay so let's understand about this code okay what's the functionality in this code that i achieve so first of all you have to define a constant here like what is the size of our stock okay how many items that we are storing in our stock okay you may increase this one like 1000 10000 okay it's on your requirement after this what you have to do i have to define the structure okay what is the structure of our stock like uh, what's the attribute of our stock so i'll define here okay like i define a name of type string quantity is integer and buying and selling prices of type integer and expiry date okay it's also a string so let's move toward main okay where our main programming start okay so here i have to define an array of type stock okay it's the size of that particular like uh, what's the max size item in our stock so like here I put 10,000 so the maximum item that we will be able to store in this array is 10,000 okay so you may set any number here okay so how you can define an array of type structure it's too easy you have to type uh, struct here this one is the keyword okay that you must have to type here and then what's the name of our structure okay 
so when I press control okay and then click on that particular variable I will be here okay so this one is the structure okay what's the name of our structure and what's the na name that we wanna define here okay so this one is the name of variable okay or our structure name so you may name it as anyone okay like you may write n name here okay like my stock all stock like that okay and what's the size of that vertical stock i already tell you the constant i define so 10,000 it will be 10,000 if the i set a value 10 so the maximum size of our stock is 10 okay and this one is our index counter like how maximum items are in our stock okay and after this i have to create a choose variable choice what's the choice of that uh, when on what's the operation that our user want to perform in our stock management like if you want to add item display item okay so first of all we have to get the choice from user and then i have to make decision what's the operation that he wanna perform okay so i take a choice from user here okay you can see first of all i display a message here backslash n is used to split line okay it's too basic and on the first line add item display item okay three for search four for exit and enter your choice okay so scan of used to take input from user okay so you it will store any value that is entered by the user will be stored at this choice variable and here we have to make this again using switch so if user enter one we will be here in add stock item okay so here what i have to do i simply need to pass our stock okay this one is our array array of type stock you can see so this one is our array i have to pass this array and the how many items in our stock first of all our stock is empty okay if i added one item the okay so its size is one so that's why we have to pass the address of that particular variable okay so let me open this function and explain you how this function will works so this function is used to add the star so let's understand if our star okay you can see if the value okay at that particular address and see steric is used to get the value of that particular address because we are passing the address so here what i have to do i have to check what's the value at that particular address so if that value is greater than or equal to our maximum stock so what i have to do i will do simply need to display a message our stock is full can i cannot add more items okay otherwise but i have to take all the data about stock from user okay using scanf i have to take uh, you can see at that particular address oh, sorry this one is the index okay at that index i have to take the value it automatically store in you can see first of all it's zero so add stock zero and what's the name at here okay like uh, in the example you can see when i run this one first of all i stored okay apa so at zero index at what where we let me move little bit upward okay so first of all add zero dot name okay so any value entered by user like here i enter apa it will be stored here same like that the quantity also added here and buying price sell price okay selling price and expiry date 
so all the values are stored here and i have to increment the value at that particular address okay because we have to add more item in our stock so uh, we have to increment the value when we have uh, added a new value okay so we need to in increment this item counter okay so this is where you can add a new item in, a, in your stock after this so we simply need to pass these variables okay stock and item number because we need do not need to modify this num stock okay we simply need to pass this variable okay and here we also need to pass the stock that we want to display so if our size is zero we simply need to display a message stock is empty otherwise what i have to do is simply need stock items and this one is the format that you create like uh, it will add 20 space here 10 space 15 space okay so this one is used to create the format of string okay it's it is used to create a table format like that okay so if you simply play uh, display like uh, if you didn't use this it it didn't arrange like that okay it will display like that you can see it may display 12 here 9 here okay like that so it's used to create a beautiful format according to our data okay so for item names okay we need a maximum around 20 so if i increase from here like i set a 25 here it will allocate more space okay in that particular space first of all if this variable is fulfilled okay so it did, didn't take more space than than this 25 okay same like that it will be placed at, after that particular space okay so this is where you can create a table and see same for search what i have to do is simply need to pass the number item okay at what index let me move to word search function okay so same like that i have to pass these variables here and check using this loop okay if the name and first of all i have to take the name from user but he wanna search okay so if this name found in this array then what i have to say same like that i uh, already tell you above i have to display all the names okay like name quantity and buying price selling price expiry date so as you can see in output so we have to display in same format as this one okay otherwise i have to display item not found okay so if we found item we simply need to return otherwise what i have to do i have to display item not found okay so this is the working of this code hope you like this video please subscribe my channel for more informative videos bye bye